Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and uh, today we're not gonna do an unboxing or hands-on. So today, uh, I'm gonna share with you guys on how to rank up higher dito sa Call of Duty Mobile. So Call of Duty Mobile is one of the hottest uh, games ngayon on the Play Store and I've been playing it on the Oppo A9 2020. So there are many reasons why I play it on this smartphone. Well, first we got here the Snapdragon 665 processor which is pretty good and it's powerful enough to run most games and applications without problems. Along with that is an 8 gigs of LTDDR4 na RAM so you could multitask uh, a game or you know run your Facebook run your messenger run or your browser and then also multitask it with uh, with Call of Duty um, simultaneously so you could do both I mean browse the internet and also play games so those are the things na paborito ko sa Oppo A9 2020 well it's not just a normal display yes it, it's an HD plus display it's actually it has an advantage because this one runs on a 5000 mAh of battery so you have a longer battery life because you have a smaller resolution on the Oppo A9 2020 not just that again the 665 processor is very power efficient so I have uh, longer hours uh, na paglalaro dito na Call of Duty sa Oppo A9 2020. So, of course, not just that, this one also comes with Game Boost 2.0 which optimizes the game, you get better performance, more optimized resources, and of course, a more um, responsive display. So, this screen is quite big. It's a 6.5 inch HD plus display with a 20 by 9 display aspect ratio. Why do I like the 20 by 9 display aspect ratio? It means that I have a wider display on the smartphone. It means that I have more buttons that I can place the sides, which means the smartphone's display doesn't block. Uh, or the buttons doesn't block too much of uh, the screen when playing games and it's very essential to me so I could have more viewing or more immersive uh, experience when playing Call of Duty Mobile. So let's discuss how to have a better experience so how to have a better rank in Call of Duty Mobile. Well, first, this one is kind of unique and syempre, uh, dapat meron kayo nito. Well, the device matters when playing Call of Duty Mobile. Why? Because you need a uh, smartphone with a good processor so you can have a better settings. Uh, of course, you got a better display in here so you can have better colors. Mas madali nyo makita yung kalaban. And of course, kailangan responsive yung hardware nyo. Hindi siya masyado nag overheat when playing games like Call of Duty Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile is a very demanding game. And uh, yes, it's an optimized game but we do have a, a good graphics in here. And uh, it requires a lot of power to have a max frame rate or the best graphics that you can get dito sa CODM. And again, I'm playing on the Oppo A9 2020 for a reason because it's 20 by 9 display aspect ratio. Again, we got here a wider display. It means that, again, wider display, more immersive, uh, less buttons sa magbablock dun sa viewing ko when playing FPS games. So be sure to adjust the graphic settings when playing Call of Duty Mobile. It is very essential to most FPS games. Why? Because you can adjust the frame rate of the game. So it's better to have a max frame rate. So madali nyo makita yung kalaban nyo. Mas madali kayo makakapag-respond sa pagbarel or sa paggalaw nyo. Not just that. The Snapdragon 665 processor of the Oppo A9 2020 with, along with the 8 gigs of RAM, uh, it can max out the settings at Call of Duty Mobile. So ibig sabihin, checkmark na ako doon. I have a, um, a powerful processor that is enough to run the game at a good frame rates. So uh, okay na ako doon. And uh, mas madali na kapag respond. Mabilis naman yung response ng display niya. With, uh, especially with the Game Boost 2.0. Nakakatulong talaga siya. So I could have a better experience when playing CODM dito sa A9 2020. Of course, when you're in-game, it is best to use the best loadout for you kung saan kayo comfortable and dapat may variety kayo dito. What do I mean by that? So, when you got a uh, higher level na dito, you unlock more things with Call of Duty Mobile. You could get more guns, you could get more perks, you could get uh, more perks, unlocks, and everything. So, you could have more loadouts and uh, probably when you're in the 20s or the 30s, uh, meron na kayong uh, maximum of two load, uh, I think two loadouts and uh, you need to have a variety of guns with the loadout one probably your main gun and syempre meron tayo yung dapat secondary whether it's a knife or a handgun it's better to have uh, like uh, this your main gun the loadout one along with your favorite secondary along with the best perks for your guns not just that you should also adjust yun sa other settings like uh, the weapons 
na super weapons or the operator skills na kailangan nyo. So, kailangan nyo rin maglagay ng tamang uh, optical, kailangan nyo rin tam tamang um, accessories para doon sa mga baril nyo para meron kayong better uh, main gun, better accuracy, better everything, better damage and everything. So, uh, may complexity dito sa game na to and it's best to use, uh, again, the best loadouts uh, and may variety tayo dito. So, for the loadout 1, you got your main gun. For the loadout 2, probably you want a sniper or a shotgun depending on what you want. Fourth, you need to adapt to the map. So, there are a lot of maps available for uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So, unless you're playing Battle Royale mode, so it's like PUBG, but with uh, the maps na available sa death match, you need to adapt. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're playing the game, you need to adapt, you need to memorize yung mga routes and everything. Kailangan nyo umikot-ikot, kailangan nyo malami yung mga pasikot-sikot sa mapa. So, once you have that, you have an advantage sa kalaban nyo na you know where to go, you know where the people uh, spawn, you know uh, where to use your sniper, yung mga ganong bagay. So, it's, uh, it's actually very essential when playing FPS games or uh, that much games like that so you could have better positioning when you have your sniper yung mga ganun bagay so you could have better blocking or uh, you know mga shields and everything so you need to adapt to the map there are a lot of maps available for call of duty uh, mas limited siya when you're using rank match but if you're on a uh, unrank na match mas marami yon um, i think it's better to have uh, you know mag adapt ka talaga sa map it's better to have a memorization to sa maps so you could have a better advantage you could kill uh, your enemies easily. Alam nyo kung saan siya lalabas at saan siya hindi lalabas. But of course, there's the uh, score streak. So there are a lot of score streaks that are available depending on your level. But I prefer using the Predator Missile. Yun yung binubuksan yung laptop then Igagayad nyo yung uh, missile papunta sa kalaban nyo. And of course, the Hunter Killer Drone. It's very useful and mas madali siyang kunin kasi konting score streaks lang makukuha nyo na Hunter Killer Drone. Paliparin nyo lang. Then automatically... Uh, pupunta na siya sa kalaban But of course, you need to use these things wisely Of course, for example, sa Hunter Killer Drone Kailangan nyo siya ibato sa taas Or some certain spaces Why? Because pag wala kayo certain space Probably tatama lang siya sa wall Or some uh, other objects Na magbablock dun sa Hunter Killer Drone So masasayang lang Along with the Predator Missile So better na kung yahagisan yung Predator Missile Ay nandun sa labas Or kung saan mas maraming kalaban Para hindi masayang yung kanyang range So I guess that's it Yun yung mga tips ko on how to get a uh, better rank Or how to level up on Call of Duty Mobile Na mas mabilis Again Having a good device is very essential when you're playing games like this, especially FPS games. Speed, precision, uh, the hardware is very essential. If you're in the mid-range segment uh, and if you bought the Oppo A9 2020, you won't be able because the Snapdragon 665 processor is very capable of running games like Call of Duty Mobile. And again, you can max out the settings. I've tested it. I'm playing it on uh, the smartphone and wala ko nagiging problema. Again, 20 by 9 display aspect ratio. Check. Mas marami akong makikita, mas immersive yung viewing ko when playing Call of Duty Mobile. You got 5,000 million parts of battery, long battery life. You got Game Boost 2.0 that helps in optimizing the game along with the Snapdragon 665 processor. So, panalo-panalo yung mga features na ito. Not just for the camera. We got here quad camera lens but uh, yung isang nami-miss out nilang feature dito is the processor which is powerful enough to run games like Call of Duty Mobile. So I guess that's it for our uh, short discussion discussion about uh, uh, Call of Duty Mobile along with the Oppo A9 2020 and where I play the game. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now is the time to subscribe. So once again, I am Jam of JamOnline.ph. See you guys again on my next video.